I guess I'm gonna take this mirror off completely. It's actually frozen. It does not want to move. So this is a manual mirror actually on this 240D. And uh, I can't move it like it's frozen. So here's the tip. If you can't move this thing and if it's frozen like that, don't touch it because you're gonna break the mechanism inside. So you need to actually take it apart this is already kind of apart. So you need to take it apart. And uh, looks like there's a screw holding it. So I'm going to take that off. And uh, I'm already working on that side. So either way, I'm going to take this apart, take this off. Um, and then I'm going to bring it home and take it apart, show you. And uh, you guys can understand why you don't want to actually move it if it's frozen like that. Don't force it because you're going to break the... Uh, there's like a riveted linkage in there and if you force it, it's probably going to break off. Mm. And uh, then this thing is going to be flopping and loose and it's not going to adjust anything. So either way, you have to take it all out. And uh, also, I'm gonna be taking this panel off in the future to clean it all up. I'm, re I'm already doing the same thing to that one, just so I can show you guys. I'm actually doing that. So as you can see, this panel on this side is off. And I removed the mirror. There's some pieces of the mirror on this side. Uh, but this door panel was so filthy and dirty, like it's crazy. I don't know if I took a picture of before, but I'll try to find it maybe. But it was really bad, a lot worse than that one. So, and this mirror is also, it also needs to be rebuilt. As you can see, I put a tape temporarily on it so rainwater doesn't get in there. And also, I'm gonna be uh, removing the, you know, replacing the door straps. On this door, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it kind of works, but I want to. I want it to be like really firm. And also, these guys were replaced. I can see this is fresh, kind of looking uh, door striker. So that's good. So I'm gonna remove this guy as well. But first, what I want to do is I want to remove that side. I remove the mirror on that side actually. It looks like they put some silicone on this guy too. Oh boy, this self-tapping screw, jeez. At least it could have used, you know, a stainless steel one that doesn't rust. Oh my gosh. Yeah, now how I can do this without breaking this part. Carefully prying on it. Gonna be a lot of extra cleanup on this side. A lot of silicone. Oh, look at this stuff. Oh, it's nasty. Oh my gosh, that's bad. All right. Either way, guys. Now you have exposed three screws. Phillips start taking it off remove all of them all right guys after the screw three screws are out you can actually pop it off it's gonna come off like so and then we're gonna go home and we're gonna restore this mirror as well as the other one and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about why you don't want to move this handle if this mirror is frozen and I'll show you what actually breaks so you guys know and then i'll show you how to you know pop this uh, mirror glass off and everything so it's coming up all right guys so i'm gonna leave it like that for now in the meantime i put this thing in the tape so it doesn't you know there's no no rain is gonna get inside all right guys so here's the mirror assembly sprayed it with the trim spray but I disassembled it I disassembled it as you can see and uh, this handle does not move okay so here's what you need to remember is 
if on your car you try to move it doesn't move don't force it because you're gonna break that rivet right there and then your handle is gonna be loose and it's not gonna move anything at all so that's why right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it all with uh, lubricant and then put wheel bearing grease in there and everything uh, and then reassemble it back together alright guys real quick this is what I did uh, I sprayed uh, some PB blaster in there and, and then after that I sprayed fluid film in there everywhere so right now it actually moves really nice and good uh, so it moves up and down and everything all right guys so I kind of restored this a little bit all right actually looks really nice I coated it with a nice trim pay, uh, paint and right now this is the one that's actually broken so as you can see the spring is off so I can actually move it back and forth but the problem with this is as you can see I removed this part this is the handle all right and as you can see this is broken off it was like riveted this part was riveted into the mechanism from right there but it broke off in this mechanism as you can see there's I started drilling a hole in there actually because I'm gonna be putting uh, a bolt and a nut in there to connect that handle to this assembly um, and yeah so but anyways if you have these old-school um, you know if you have an old-school Mercedes doesn't matter which one and you try to move the handle do not force it you know because if it's frozen leave it there you have to take this whole thing apart lubricate it and clean it because if you're gonna force it that joint is gonna break off and then you're gonna have a lot of more work to do on uh, this car it was it was already broken off um, so I had to take it apart anyways so right now I'm gonna be uh, drilling this hole drilling a hole in here and then connecting both of them together all right guys sorry for the mess once again but I just wanted to show you some progress so I was working on this mirror and as you can see right there I drilled the hole okay so the, the hole is drilled right now I have to accomplish the same thing with this handle mechanism okay uh, it's it's got this uh, factory rivet in there so I gotta take it out and then at the end I'll just install this bolt this uh, screw with a with a nut on it and then that's gonna that should work actually pretty good I'm gonna lubricate everything clean it and then we're gonna put it all together uh, and finally we're gonna put it install it on the car all right guys here it is she's ready all right so now I can start figuring this stuff out and installing it all back all right guys never too much lube right uh, yeah so here's my mirror coming along I already started assembling it there's a couple uh, Phillips head uh, screws that are holding this uh, uh, cover to the frame and then uh, lubricated a bunch of things um, there's the handle Okay, and then uh, install the spring. The spring is a little tricky. What you have to do is you have to use a, you know, um, like vice grip or something, put it on. All right, now I can install it on the car and then the final step will be uh, actually this gasket. Don't forget about this gasket. It has to go over here on the top um, and cover this area up. And also the final thing is gonna, is gonna be the uh, glass, the mirror actually, so gonna be at the end so I'm ready to install this bad boy back in the car and show you how my how my mirrors work all right here's the gasket and I'm so surprised you know this car is like 40 years old and the gasket is actually is in great condition it's uh, it's pretty soft and not brittle at all it's, it's awesome so uh, yeah and also I'll clean this up a little more but um, I painted this thing guys this frame uh, with a trim paint and it actually came out pretty good so I'll show you in a little while what kind of paint I use but uh, it actually it restores the faded plastics on the car and other things so it looks amazing because this frame used to be like faded and some of it used to be like a grayish color you know the paint was coming off but right now it's all good Alright guys, so after you're pretty much done with that and mounting the mirror, 
make sure you put grease right there and on this joint and oh look at that so that end is gonna go right there okay slide that end in there i have to adjust it and play with it a little bit in order to be able to clip it really well it got to clean the glass a little more but now I can go ahead and check it it moves pretty well pull, pull this like that you can see there's a lot of grease but the main thing is that I had that bolt with the nut in there damn all the time whenever I try to talk somebody just likes to I don't know fly by or I guess whatever uh, so anyways guys so there's a lot of grease in there and then uh, when I was fixing this mirror up as you guys remember that rivet broke off so what I had to do is I had to uh, drill those two pieces, those two metal pieces, and then I connected them together using a bolt and a nut. So, and that works actually pretty well. Uh, but once again, guys, if you come to your car and then you notice that this thing uh, doesn't move, this handle like is like stuck, like frozen, don't try to force it because you're gonna break that mechanism inside. And what's gonna happen at the end is this thing is gonna be loose loose really like bad and then you won't be able to like move anything at all like it's not gonna move your mirror glass or anything it's just gonna be loose right there like you can yeah so and that's what happened to this one so what i needed to do is i had to uh take it apart and fix it the right way uh, and then on this side everything was good well this thing was frozen as well okay it was frozen but then I fixed it up, so and now it moves really nice and good. Right, so that's all fixed up. That's amazing to have uh, mirrors like that working the right way, right, guys? All right, final product. Except this is not yet a final product, but it will be soon. Somebody drilled a hole here. It wasn't me. I don't do that kind of stuff, guys. So. Um, as you can see, there's the handle back on and everything. I'm still working on my door panel, so it's gonna be a video on that. I'm clear. I took the panel off. I'm cleaning it. So yeah, so that's that's the stuff. I'll just show you the car overall, guys. Oh, I'm digging those Euro headlights, huh? A few moments later. All right, guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and supporting Vito's Garage. It really means a lot to me. Uh, we're all of us are here gathered so we can save these amazing old school cars, Mercedes, BMWs, whatever, everything. But number one is Mercedes, of course, my babies. So uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Hit the belly, belly, the bell. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. You know, check out my playlist. I have a lot of videos about these uh, old school cars. Like always try to post as much as I can. Um, and I hope you like my content. And uh, if there's any ideas about the videos that you guys have, you know, as far as what kind of videos you, want, you guys want to see, let me know. Uh, so and that's going to be addressed. So either way, thanks so much for everything.